So now that we have some jobs out here uh, in our system, I thought it'd be a good idea to take a few minutes to talk about job documentation. So say I wanted to, you know, document all the jobs in my in my uh, system or a particular job uh, within the system and send it to somebody in, in an email or something like that. So um, if I have a job open, I can click the documentation menu item here. And what the job documentation does is basically reads the entire job and builds a Microsoft Word document with all of the details about that job, including a screenshot, any code that was written into the job and where it was written into, all of the field level mappings, and all the property settings and everything. Okay, so in just a few seconds, you got seven pages of documentation, you know, based on a job. Okay, so that could save you an, a, a lot of time. The other thing that you can do is, is if you have a sequence job, and that sequence job calls other jobs, or an entire process of jobs, then you can just go into here and right click on a sequence job, and you go to documentation, and then you can say select, document the selected sequence job and all of the jobs under it recursively. So what that means is it will literally go out and document the entire process, that, uh, including all the jobs in that process, and document the entire thing for you in a single word document. Okay, so I'm just going to call this uh, sequence documentation. And would you like to open up the file? And you'll see in just a few seconds, uh, it documented everything. So it gives you kind of a header page here, um, and it and then it maps out the jobs. So if I had, you know, this is the sequence job. That's where it starts, and then it's showing me that I have three jobs underneath it. You can imagine if you have 40 or 50 jobs, you know, all at different levels, you know, it would basically map out the entire tree of the process for you. And then as you scroll down here, it starts to document each individual job. So here's the sequence job, takes a screenshot, has the, you know, that if statement logic that we had put in, and all the relevant properties and settings and everything. And then here's the load products job, and the load stores and the load transactions job, okay, including all the code. So this particular one documented, what, 14 pages in uh, just a few minutes, or a few seconds, actually. So the job documentation feature is really handy. Uh, we'll save you a ton of time on projects. You know, when you get to the end of the project and, you know, your boss or your customer is asking for documentation, you could just come in here and document your entire process uh, instantly and saved you a lot of time. Thanks.